Hey there, comic book friends and fiends. It's Rob here in front of the Great Wall of Comics. What if there was a way to take your book that looked like this and instead be able to quickly identify its grade by making it look like this? Well, there's a product that I've been introduced to that we're going to talk about today, so let's take a look. All right, so there's a product called uh, Collector's Condition, um, or that's the name of the company, is Collector's Condition. And they have a website, uh, co co uh, comicbookgradinglabels.com, comicbookgradinglabels.com. Uh, also, the link will be down below. Uh, and so the uh, creator of the product, Mario, uh, reached out to me recently and asked me if I would be interested in reviewing his product because I'm into graded comic books. And uh, so I said, sure, why not? And this is, look, a lot of us have a ton of raw books. We have books like this that you're not going to set, probably not going to send it in to get it graded because the value isn't there. It's just kind of a, a silly book to have graded. Um, so what do you do with these books? A lot of us, we just file them in our short box or long box, whatever else. But for some people, even if it's not just a book like this for serious runs, there are people who don't want to encapsulate comic books. They don't like it, but they want to get into grading or maybe you do like graded comic books but again bulk of your collection is not going to be graded because that's expensive but you'd like to go through the process of grading your comic books well that's where collector's condition comes in and what they've done uh, let's first I start off with is they've created these series of labels essentially that are go right on the top edge of a backing board so you just you're gonna take a comic book and you're going to grade it now, on their website they have information uh, tutorial quick tutorials as well as um, you know you can always go to um, various websites to talk about grading comic books and you can then take your comic book if I can get it out of the bag here boom and you can take a chance and you can review it so I can sit there and I can take a look at this book and I can review, uh, especially if I have a small, uh, you know, bright light to look for any spine ticks, to look at the sharpness of the k edges, look at the back side of the book, look for that, look for fingerprints and indentations as you're looking across it, check your page count, what are your pages at, you can even get yourself a owl card and check for the whiteness of the pages and all these different things. And then you can assign a grade to it based on that. Oh, this only has a minor blemish in this upper corner here. So other than that, I don't see anything. Black is super black cover. The spine has no spine ticks. Um, this is a clean book. This is definitely a 9.6 plus, potentially even a 9.8 candidate. So I could go ahead and I would take my, go to my label sheet and I could pull the 9.6 or if I really was confident about that 9.8 I can pull, nine, pull the 9.6 label I can adhere it to the top of the backing board just run across the top of the backing board and then when I put the bag the book back in the board there I go right on top I'll have a grade for it this is 9.6 near mint I can put the date that I graded the book and you can put this label either on the outer bag or you can put it on the backing board itself and it just fits right above the comic book inside the bag and there you go you can then grade your books and if you had a whole stack of bo whole box full books you know you could sit there and have a whole slew of grades and be able to easily see your grades on your book in your collection now who's gonna do this I mean I got 10,000 comic books well Maybe this isn't something you're going to do for all of your books, but maybe you're going to go through your big hit books, or maybe you're just going to start, hey, you know what, for me, my Amazing Spider-Man run, that's my main run. Maybe I'm just going to work my way through that first, you know, something that you can do over time. You could just, as part of the hobby, get, in, get into 
grading comic books. The advantage of really learning it and going through your books like this and getting through that is learning that process deep down will help you as a collector. When you're out looking at books, you'll be able to assess the condition of a book much better and be able to then assign what your value is on it. Now, they do have a different type of label as well. Uh, they have a label like this one here, which essentially lists all the grades um, along the top, and you just check mark what grade it is. So if you're like, oh, you know, these ones obviously are color coded, they're really nice looking, but maybe you said, hey, I don't want to have to get, you know, I don't know how many 8.5s and how many 9.0s we need. Uh, this one would be a sheet of labels where all the labels are exactly the same and you just check mark the box. Now, it doesn't look, obviously, as you can see, it's not as bold. You have to kind of slide down the scale to see where it at, is at versus pulling a book out where it's, oops, where it's all done beautifully just like that for you. So they have different stuff. You can also, when you get the labels, you know, you don't have to get um, the labels in a sheet of mixed like this. They do sell sheets of just nines, nine, you know, different grade ranges. So you can do that. They also sell them where they'll come backing boards with the labels already on them. Um, I'm not sure if they have, I haven't looked yet, so I'm not sure if they have different size backing boards for this. Pro maybe it's mostly moderns, I'm not sure, but it's something that they offer. So they have a variety of different options here. Now, ultimately, at the end of the day, is this is this right for you? Well, I think that this is an interesting uh, idea for somebody, if you're really like a nice, clean presentation in your comics and uh, you're really you're kind of interested or into grading comics, but you're not into having them slapped. Um, I think that this could be something that's really kind of cool that you might dig. Um, there are though other ways to do this. Um, so to be perfectly honest, look, I could put a green dot, I could put a dot sticker on here and put near mint, whatever. I could write it on the backer board. I could put the sticker on the back. There's lots of different, uh, you know, I can put notations in my inventory, which is what I do. Um, there's lots of different ways that you can do it. Now, obviously, I put on my inventory. That's great when I'm looking at my computer, but if I'm flipping through a box, I've got to then sit there and go look it up in my inventory to see what the grade is. Writing it on the backer board or putting dots or the stickers on here, now that's just a different method of doing it versus using their labels. I think their labels are clean, but it's up to you to decide whether or not that's something that you're necessarily into, whether you want a nice clean label like that, um, and they're color coded, uh, depending upon the grade range. Now, ultimately at the end of the day, for me personally, I really wish they had gone away from the nine, six, nine, four, everything else. I wish they had just stuck with like near mint, gone near mint plus, near mint, near mint minus, VF plus, VF, VF minus. Stick with that. We don't need to get into the minutia necessarily of is this, this particular grade? Because I think that when you're doing, when you're not a grading company, I think sitting there designating this is a nine, four versus a nine, six is really. Um, splitting hairs and um, not necessarily uh, a, a thing that, especially like when we get to low end grades, like when you're talking about something that's of, between a fine minus and a good plus um, or very good plus, you're talking about a range in there that's um, kind of difficult to split hairs on. And I think that being able to just label, have that label that said, just, hey, this is VG to V, you know, VG to fine or something like that would be um, better, a little bit more broad, uh, I think would be better for, for this. But that's my personal thing. Um, I think it's a cool looking thing. What does this run though? That's the kicker to me personally at nine ninety nine or nine ninety five for 100 labels. I, you know, I don't. I, I'm not sure whether or not that I'm the right guy, no matter how clean this looks versus writing on the back 
backer board or something. Um, you know, that's for you to decide, ultimately. Um, I asked the owner, I said, you know, about who he thought his ideal um, candidate was, and he thought that it was anyone from the beginner to the advanced who really likes graded books. Somebody who just wants to get into grading, um, you know, and he said, suggested starting small with a small little run and then slowly expanding yourself on what you, on what you do. Um, I think that what's really interesting, besides the resources that he has and else's, uh, the person that this appeals to is going to be the person who really wants to take this on in a hobby and have the hobby be more than just me collecting the books. The, the, the acquisition aspect is one element of it. But if you really want to get into your comic books and understanding not just the stories that are part of them, but the conditions and everything else, this is a great way to be able to take time and consume time in your hobby without spending a significant amount of money being able to take that time to go through and assess those conditions and take this to this anyways it's an interesting product again the links are down below if you want to check it out for yourself you can check out their website um, and you can decide if this is a product that you're interested in or not or if maybe it's not for you, and that's fine. But it's just another option that's out there for you. Guys, thank you so much for paying attention, and until next time, collect what you want. Don't listen to anybody, including this guy. He's just a fat man with a fat stack of comics and a fat opinion. Thanks for watching.